scientists. How are you doing today? I hope you are doing awesome like I am. Well, I was thinking, you, last time, you know, we talked about how things um, travel, right? We were classifying them into groups based on how do they get us from here to there, that type of transportation. So were these things moving on the land? Were they moving up in the sky, in the air? Were they moving in the water? So I was thinking about all that movement, all that motion. And it got me thinking about how do other things move? Hmm. So that's something we're going to talk about today. All right. Today, we will explore the various ways objects can move. Can you think of a way something might move? You do it all the time. Yeah. You go from here to there. Maybe you're walking. Maybe you are riding in a wagon. Maybe you are in a car and you're just going in a straight line from here to there. How do you think swing moves. Hmm. If you're sitting on a swing, how do you think a swing moves? How would you describe that kind of movement? Hmm. Is that like an up and down movement? Does a swing go up and down? Hmm. Or does a swing go back and forth, back and forth? Yes, a swing goes back and forth. That is one type of movement. So look, I even have a picture of it. When you're on a swing, it moves back and forth, back and forth. Make that movement with me. Move like a swing. Ready? Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Good, excellent motion. The way you move, fabulous. Okay. What about, hmm, maybe you're on a scooter or a bicycle or maybe, like I said before, you're in a wagon. How does that, that thing typically move? Is, is, is a bicycle or a scooter, is that going back and forth like a swing? No. Hmm. Oh, I think I know. That moves in a straight line. Isn't that neat? A straight line. Can you show me a straight line? Move your hand in a straight line. Ready? Straight line. Straight line. Or maybe I go this way. Straight line. Yeah. Okay. So when you're on your scooter or something like a bike or maybe even roller skates, you're moving in a straight line. Okay, what if you're on a seesaw? Hmm, you ever been on a seesaw? It's, it's like this, this long bench piece and it moves like this. I don't wanna say the words yet, it moves like this. Hmm, or even like an elevator. That moves up and down. Take a look, I even have a picture. The kids are on the seesaw. They're moving up and down. Yes, up and down. Do it with me. Up and down, up and down. Very good. What about if you're on a merry-go-round? Ooh. How do you think a merry-go-round moves? Around and around and around. Yes, take a look. A little merry-go-round, if you get on it, you're spinning around and around and around in a circle over and over and over again. This kind of merry-go-round, if you look, when you're, when you're standing on it, if it's spinning really fast, you gotta hold on tight so you don't fall off. Okay, what about, what about a ball? How does a ball move? 
does, does, does the ball move back and forth like the swing? Does the ball move round and around like the merry-go-round? Or maybe a ball rolls. Ooh. Can you do that with me? Use your hand and say roll. Take a look. You have a ball, it might roll. Like maybe you're playing uh, basketball and you, sh you shoot the ball up in the hoop and it bounces down, but then it just starts to roll away from you. A ball can roll. Okay, what about a top? You ever played with a top before? Hmm? So a top makes me think of when water's going down a drain. And it's just kind of spinning. Have you ever seen a top? The way it spins? Just it goes. Yes. Okay. Can you do that with your hands? Can you show me spin? Just use your finger and spin. Maybe you could spin. Maybe you could stand up and spin around. The way I'm sitting, I'm not able to do it right now. But maybe you can stand up and spin. Spin around. All the way around. Yeah. All right. Okay. And then another way things might move. Maybe they don't want to move in a straight line like the scooter. Maybe they don't want to move in that straight line like a scooter. Maybe they want to go this way and that way, this way and that way, this way and that way. Okay. That's called a zigzag. You see how this line, it goes this way, that way, this way, that way. This way, that way. So maybe that girl, when she's running, she runs this way, and then she runs that way, and then she runs this way, and then she runs that way. She's zigzagging back and forth in different directions while she's still going forward at the same time. It's a lot happening all at once, but that's another way to move, zigzagging. So I was thinking, what about the speed that something moves, you know? Does it move fast? Or maybe it moves slowly? Hmm. So with that, that's got me thinking and maybe we can explore that a little more. But before we go any further, because we are scientists, we need to review what do scientists do? Hmm. Do you remember? What do scientists do? They ask. Questions, yes, scientists ask questions. Okay, what else do scientists do? They make observations, right? So they're looking with their eyes or perhaps they're using other senses. Maybe they're listening to something. Maybe they're feeling something. Maybe they're smelling something or even tasting. But whatever it is they're doing, they're using that sense to get more information, to learn more about what it is they're, they're uh, observing, okay? What else do scientists do? They make predictions. Do you remember what a prediction is? A prediction is a guess. Yes, exactly. It's what you think might happen. There you go, very good. Okay, and the final thing scientists do that we talk about, record their findings. Yes. So we might record our findings by writing in our, our journal or our notebook or just on a regular sheet of paper. We might record our findings by using pictures like we've done before. We put pictures up on a poster, okay? We might record our findings by organizing things into different groups and then writing about it. It just all depends on how you want to record your information and your findings. All right, so we're gonna go from there. <clears throat> we're gonna ask a couple of questions. All right, so I have a couple of things here. Bear with me. All right, I have this little red wagon, okay? And it has wheels and when I move it, those wheels are going round and round and round and round and round, right? But the car or the wagon is moving in a straight line. I can push and it goes in a straight line. Can you think of something else that moves in a straight line? Hmm. Think about it. 
and give me that thumbs up when you have your answer. What else can move in a straight line, like my little red wagon? Do you have an answer? Okay, let's hear it. Excellent, okay. I, you know what? People can move in a straight line, yes. Cars can move in a straight line, absolutely. Uh, bicycles can move in a straight line. Yes, I've seen an airplane move in a straight line too. Yeah, all different kinds of things can move in a straight line if they want to, okay? All right, so I'm gonna use my little red wagon, okay? And I'm going to make it move. So I'm gonna start changing a couple things about how it moves. But before I do that, I have my little ramp, okay? It's just a little piece of wood, okay? And I'm gonna pretend it's like my little road, okay? So I'm gonna put my wagon on the little road, and it keeps it moving in a straight line. There we go. I can keep it going back and forth if I wanted to, back and forth and back and forth, but it's still only moving in that straight line. Okay. Now I want to look at how fast or how slow my wagon will move. Okay. So I have a question because you remember scientists ask questions. Okay. So when my ramp is just flat like this, I have to push it to make the wagon move. Yes? Right. Okay. Because if not, it's just going to sit there. But I want to know, is there a way that I can make the wagon move without me having to push it? Hmm. What can I do? Do I have to change my wagon or do I have to change my ramp? Hmm. I have an idea. What if I lift up one side of my ramp with a little block? Okay, let's take my wagon off. So now I have my little block and I'm gonna put this end of the ramp up on top of the block. So now it kind of moves downward at an angle. You see, I can, I can stick my finger down under here. You see my finger? See my finger? Here it is, all the way under, okay. So now one part of the ramp is higher up than the other side, okay? Just a little bit, just as big as this block is, all right? So I'm gonna see if I put my wagon on the ramp, if now it'll move without me having to touch it. So first, before we do that, we're gonna do that. what those scientists do. We're gonna make that prediction, okay? So make your prediction. Do you think my wagon will move by itself now that my ramp is lifted up by one block? Give me a thumbs up when you have your answer. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. If you think my wagon is going to move by itself now, give me two thumbs up. If you think my wagon is not going to move by itself now, give me two thumbs down, okay? All right, different answers, that's okay. That's the great thing about it. Even if we have different ideas, different predictions of what might happen, we're gonna test it out and see what happens. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna take my little red wagon. I'm gonna put it on the ramp. Here we go, I'm gonna let go. I did not touch that. I did not make that move at all. I didn't do it. Watch, watch again, ready? I'm holding it, but I'm gonna let it go. I didn't do anything, it moved. Who made that prediction? Who predicted that the wagon would move by itself because the ramp was uh, moved up on one side? Excellent prediction, all right. Now, can you describe to me how did the wagon move? How does it move? Tell me a little bit, what, is, what do you see? It's moving in a straight line, right? Okay, what else? Come on, come on, come on. Ah, I noticed it this time. The wagon was moving slowly. Did you see that? It's not going pew, really quick. It's going slowly. Watch it again. Slowly, it's moving slowly. Oh my gosh. So now I have some questions, okay? How can we make the wagon 
move faster. Or this one says cart. You can call it a cart or a wagon. I'm going to call it a wagon today. How can we make it move faster? What do you think we can do to make it move faster? Hmm. What, what can we do? Hmm. Maybe, maybe, ooh, maybe I, ha I have more blocks, okay? What if, what if I put a block over on the other side now? Do you think that'll make it move faster? So now I have one block on each side. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Is this going to make it move faster? Hmm. Now it's not moving again. Just like when it was flat on the, on the, on the, on the table. Like, it's not moving at all. Oh, you know why? Because it's flat again now that each side has a block. Oh, that's not going to do it. That's not going to make it work. Hmm. Okay, so I took that one away. What else can I do? I wonder, ooh, I wonder, what if, what if I put the block inside the cart? Do you think that'll make it move faster? Or maybe slower? I don't know. Let's see. Let's see if putting the block inside the car makes it move any faster. Ready? It's not. It was moving super slow, and then it stopped. Oh, wait, there it goes. There it goes. Yeah, I don't. I don't think putting the block inside is, is helping. I think it's making it even slower. Okay, that didn't work. That didn't make the car move faster. Hmm. What if? What if? I actually push it down the ramp this time, right? I hold it still, but then I'll push. Did that make it move faster? Yes, it did, because I pushed it. I made it go faster. Wow. Hmm. Oh, you know what I was looking? I was just looking at this block underneath this side of the ramp. What if we put another block under the same side? Do you think that'll do anything? Let's find out. Okay, I'm gonna add another block. So now I have one, two blocks. Okay, you see them? One, two. Okay, I'm gonna set them here. And now I'm gonna put my ramp up on top of those blocks. So one side is two blocks high now, and the other side is still flat down on the table. All right, so now. We make our prediction again. Do you think that having the ramp propped up higher is going to make it go faster? Think about it. Make your prediction and give me that thumbs up when you have an idea. Will it go faster? Hmm. Okay, so everybody has your prediction? Excellent. All right, let's take a look, okay? So now, Remember we said the ramp is a little bit higher on one side now. We're going to see if the cart or the wagon will move faster now that it, it's up higher. You ready to find out? Did that move faster or was it just me? I think it moved faster. Let's try it again. Let's check it out. So this, this wagon is it's still moving in a straight line. And first, when we only had it up a little bit on one block, it was moving slowly. But now, watch how this wagon moves. <laughs> That's awesome. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay. So, what changed? What made the, the, the wagon go faster? Adding another block underneath the ramp to make it sit up higher. So that makes me think, what if I put three blocks? Is that going to make it go even faster? Let's find out. All right, so now we have three. See? One, two, three. All right. Oh, look at how high that is now. Whoa. All right. So you think it's going to go even faster now? Let me move it back just a tiny bit. You think it's going to go even faster now that we have three blocks underneath, so it's even higher I think so. All right, let's take a look. Okay, here we go. 
Oh yeah, that definitely went faster. Yes. I love this. This is so much fun. Oh my gosh. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. So the cart moved fast when it was when the ramp was up higher, but it moved slowly when the ramp was down lower. Okay, and it doesn't move at all if the ramp is flat. How neat is that? Oh man, now I wanna experiment with more things with this ramp. You know what we can do? What, okay, so you, you remember when we had only one, only one block, right? And we put the card on, or put the ramp on, and the wagon just moved slow. I had to tap it a little bit, just a little tap. And it only got here. This is as far as it got, okay? So let me see, let me put, a little marker, a little piece of sticky tack there so we can see, can you see it? Is it big enough? So we can see how far the wagon got. There we go. Can you see the little dot? I know it's small because can't. the camera's so far away here. Let me make it a little bit longer. All right, there we go. So now we have this mark. This shows us how far the wagon went when the ramp was only up on one block. Okay, we're gonna test it again. We're gonna move the ramp up two blocks. Okay, and we're gonna see, will the wagon still stop here at this little blue mark like the first time or will it go farther? So I want you to make a prediction. Will it stop at the same spot or will it go even farther because it's moving faster? What do you think? Give me a thumbs up when you have your answer. Is it gonna go the same length, the same distance, or will it go even further? You ready to find out? All right, here we go. Wagon up on the ramp with two blocks. Three, two, one. Look, this is how far it got the first time. Now it's all the way over here. So that tells us if the ramp is higher, the wagon is gonna roll farther. Oh my goodness, okay, okay. So let's try it out with the three blocks and see if it goes even further than this. So before I do that, hang on, let me put my little marker again so we can see it right there, okay? So this was with one block, this is with two blocks. Let's see how far it goes with three blocks. You ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> it went past the first marker, it went past the second marker, and all the way to the end. So cool! So the higher the ramp, the further the car is gonna go. Oh my gosh, if you have something like this at home, you can totally try this on your own, right? Maybe you have a long paper towel roll and you can put little cars in there and you just prop it up with things and you can practice rolling that car, that little toy car, through the paper towel roll and see how far you can make it go. So fun. All right, so now that we've done that, I want to take a look at a couple of different objects and decide whether they move fast or slow. Okay, so remember, we're talking about fast or slow. Here we go. So I have this little stand, okay? My red side is slow. My green side means fast, okay? okay. What's my thing? Sorry, let me see. All right, I'm gonna stand, I'm gonna try and stand a little bit. Here we go, I still need this. Here we go. So the first thing we're gonna take a look at, oh, you can't see my face anymore. Let me move it over. Oops, sorry about that. Okay, so the first thing we'll take a look at is a horse. Ooh, what do you know about a horse? Does a horse move fast or does a horse move slow? Hmm, what do you think? Fast or slow? Fast, yes, I think so too. All right, so the horse moves fast. 
What about a snail? You ever seen a snail before? Do you know how a snail moves? Does it move fast or does it move slow? Hmm, the snail, fast or slow? That thing it does, it moves super, super slow. Yeah, I mean, I could probably walk all the way home before the snail got to the door. Mm-hmm, yeah, that's how slow the snail is. Oh yeah, okay, what about if you were on a bicycle? How do you think a bicycle moves? Fast or slow? Hmm, is it slow like a snail? No, no it's not. A bicycle can definitely move fast. If you pedal fast enough, you can make that bicycle go super fast. Yes. All right, let's take a look at another one. How about, oh, sorry. How about an airplane? How do you think an airplane moves? Fast or slow? Hmm. Well, I, I don't think an airplane is slow like a snail because then I don't think it's gonna fly very well. So I, I think definitely the plane, the airplane is gonna be fast. Okay, whoops. Messing up my papers. What happens? I'm trying to do it from behind here. Okay, alrighty then. Hmm, how about, how about a baby? How do you think a baby moves? Does it go fast or does it go slow? Yeah, I think a baby might kind of go slow. Definitely, it's, it's definitely not as fast as a horse or an airplane. Mm -mm. If a baby was that fast, oh, I'd never be able to catch it. <laughs> All right, what, uh, ooh, what about vroom vroom? A motorcycle. How does a motorcycle move? Fast or slow? Fast. Oh yeah, a motorcycle can go fast. So just like a bicycle with an airplane and a horse, that motorcycle is moving fast. Woo! Okay. How about a sloth? Have you ever seen a sloth? Maybe in a movie once? How does a sloth move? Hmm. Slow or fast? A sloth is gonna move slow. I, it, honestly, it reminds me of when I wake up and I'm not quite ready to go. I just move really slow. Cause I'm not ready. That's how a sloth moves. Super, super slow. Okay, all right, let's take a look at one more. I got a few more, but we're running out of time. That's okay though. How about clouds? The clouds up in the sky, how do the clouds move? Fast or slow? I guess it depends, like if there's wind blowing it, they might move faster, but they're still moving pretty slow, right? Like. The airplane's gonna move faster than the clouds. Right, so the clouds would move slow. Good, okay, let me do one more. How about a bumblebee? How'd a bumblebee move, fast or slow? Fast or slow? Oh yeah, I definitely think that the bumblebee is gonna move fast. Definitely, definitely. I'm gonna stand up and do that one. Okay, so remember, today we talked about motion, how things move, and we were comparing slow and fast, okay? You guys have a great rest of your day. Try this out on your own, and hopefully you'll have fun experimenting with fast and slow. Bye, guys.